A jihadist group that has struck with deadly effect in Nigeria, now in the territory of Chad, Niger and Cameroon, that has made neutralizing Boko Haram a priority for the African Union. It's been several weeks since the AU adopted plans for a multinational force. Now it has formally approved the plan but concedes it needs to be bigger. The figure was 7,500. Uh, 7, then when the, uh, the experts worked on the concept, they thought that it has to go to 8,700. But now in the decision of the Peace and Security Council, it has allowed up to 10,000 forces. That means out of the 8,700, we'll have to include also the enablers, and that we need then extra, extra support uh, capabilities, which then uh, can bring it to up to 10,000. Chad and Niger already have sent troops into Nigeria, and that has helped bolster a Nigerian offensive the AU says those forces will form the bulk of the multinational force, but it will be headquartered in Chad's capital, Jamina, and command of the force will be rotated. The AU says the mission also will not be restricted to military operations. We have to support the local communities. We have to support women in this conflict, and I think uh, even when we, when su we successfully, and I hope it will be as soon as possible, achieve our goal militarily, we still have a lot of work to do. The African Union says the two-month delay is needed to win backing from the United Nations and with it, funding for the mission. The big question, though, is whether a one-year mission is going to be enough. The AU has seen in Somalia that such military missions rarely work out as planned. Grumtala CCTV at the Ethiopia.